so that today we are discussing about class 12 physics chapter number 6 in this lecture we'll discussing about that the magnetic flux first of all we are discussing about that the magnetic flux due to the faraday experiment setup and also the we are understood the see here we also we have understood the para, magnetic flux and the parallel law of inductions so see here assume a loop enclosing an area a lies in uniform magnetic field see this is our normal loop normal this is our loop of that or uh, assume a loop of enclosing an area a lies in a uniform magnetic field it is lies in a uniform magnetic field see this is the b it is represent the magnetic field of that so this is our big magnetic field this is a normal to the loop so it we it is a making a angle with 90 this is a normal to the loop and loop of the area it is a and also it's a making angle is that it is that see here this is our theta so the magnetic flux through the loop is 5 b is equals to b into a cos theta now but first of all the greater is said the lay is solving the simple mathematical relations to explain the series of the experiment he carry out the electromagnetic inductions so before the state and the appropriate his law we must get the familiar with the no notations the magnetic flux it is of 5b this is our magnetic flux notations 5b and the magnetic flux is defined in the same same way as electric flux is defined in chapter number 1 the magnetic flux through a plane of area a part place in a uniform magnetic field b see this is the magnetic field mag uniform magnetic field is that this is our magnetic field b and we have written is that phi is equals to phi b is equals to b b a to a cos theta well what is the theta theta is the angle between b and a here a is our area of the loop and b it is a magnetic field the notations of area as a vector has been discussed earlier in the chapter number 1 So equation one can be this equation one can be represent the extent the aid curved surface and the motion speed. So if the magnetic field has a different magnitude and the directions at the various part of the surface at shown in figure. So the magnetic field, the magnetic field, magnetic flux through the surface is given by the phi v is equals to v d a. Plus b2 into d2, it is equals to up to bi into di. So there, that's why we will get the phi of b is equals to b into da cos theta. So all the stand stand of the summation over all area element da, comprising the surface and bi is the magnetic field at the area element da. The SI unit of the magnetic flux is the Weber. Or Tesla, okay. So Tesla, Tesla meter square or T T into meter square magnetic flux is a similar quantities are there. So this is our magnetic flux are there, okay. So we have it is similar to the our room. It is similar to our electric flux. So this is our basic thing is that. So now see here we have another we have topic is that Faraday's law of inductions. First of all we have understood due to the experiment of the Faraday's law. Now first of all what we have understood the primary coil is connected to the bat to a switch or battery and the wire is wrapped around the iron ring. So this is our wire is that copper wire is that wrap around the iron ring. So this is our iron ring are that. Wrap around the iron ring. A secondary coil is also wrap around the iron ring. See, this is our secondary coil, and this is also a wrap around the iron. Sec. This is also wrap around the iron iron ring. So there is a no battery present in the secondary coil. So this is a, there is a no battery is connected into secondary coil. But the secondary coil is directly connected to the primary coil, and also the secondary coil is not connected to the directly coil directly connected to the primary coil. So this is the basic difference is that there is a only just a connecting to the this this ring and also this is also in this ring. So what will happen? So the EMF induced see here first of all the EMF induced in the secondary circuit is caused by the changing magnetic field through the secondary coil. Okay, whenever the magnetic field will be changed, so on that time what will happen? There are the producing the changing the magnetic field EMF induced. Okay. So when the is the switch in the primary circuit is closed, the emitter re reading in the secondary circuit changing the method moment uh, reading. 
now see here this is the experimental setup server so see here close the switch and observe the current reading given by the ammeter so this is our suppose this is our ammeter are there so what will happen we have shown that so now see here at the instant switch is closed ammeter change from zero in one direction and then returns to zero what will happen it will be change to it will be instant switch it close the ammeter change from zero in one directions and then return to zero so when the switch is open the ammeter change in the opposite directions and the return to zero so ammeter reads zero when there there is a steady current or when there is a no current is prime in a primary circuit where the ammeter is read zero when the, there is a steady current okay steady current means there is something is that so steady current or when there is a no current is in the primary circuit so this basic thing is that but the, an electric current can be induced in a loop changing the magnetic field this would be the current in the secondary circuit of this experiment setup so the induced current is exist only while the magnetic field through the loop is changing so this is generally expressed as the an induced emf is produced in the loop by the changing of the magnetic field are there so this is the changing of the field of that so see here and also the actual existence of the magnetic flux is not a sufficient to produce the emf induced emf the flux must be changing what we have the flux must be changing now the c here the faraday's law of induction is that it's a statement what is the statement of that so see here the emf induced in a circuit is directly proportional to the time rate of change of magnetic flux see here this is our rate of change of magnetic flux due to the time so this is our time dt and this is our magnetic flux is that so the magnetic flux is that my df d phi b upon dt so the emf induces uh, it is a Indu the induced in a circuit is directly proportional to the time rate of change of the magnetic flux through the circuit. So the mathematically represent is that E epsilon it is equals to d phi b minus d phi b by d t not equal one minus d phi b by d t. So remember that phi b is the magnetic flux through the circuit and it is found by the phi b it is equals to close integration of b into dA where the circuit consists of the n loops okay number of n loops all the same area and the phi be the flux through one loop and emf is induced in every loop as faraday's law become it is equals to epsilon 0 epsilon sorry epsilon is equals to minus n d phi by dt okay so see here we have already shown that so see this is the resultant is decrease the magnetic flux so hence the induced electric current is void the common point of all these observations is that the time rate of change of magnetic flux through the circuit induced emf in it so faraday state the experiment experimental observations in the form of law of law called the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so this is known is known as that the faraday's law faraday's law of electromagnetic inductions so no uh, what will happen the not that the sensitive electric instrument in the vicinity of the electromagnet can be damaged due to the induced emf so it's turn on or off electromagnet is turn off or turn on so see here this our topic is that so the magnetic Ma magnet magnitude of the induced emf is a circuit is equals to the time rate of change of magnetic flux through the circuit so it is represented at the d epsilon 0 it is equals to minus d phi v by dt but see here the, there are the minus sign is that the negative sign indicate the directions of e and hence the directions of current in a closed loop this will be discussed in the details in the next section so in case of a closely wound coil and turns change or flux of flux associated with each turn so is the same therefore the expression for the n total induced emf is given by minus n d phi b by dt so the induced emf can be increased by increasing the number of turns and of closed coil so we see that the flux can be varied by changing any one or more of the terms b into a and the theta in experiment 6.1 and in the previous experiment 
so the flux changed by the wearing the flux can also be altered by the changing the shape of coil okay so in a magnetic field or rotating coil in a magnetic field such that the angle theta between b and a change this case to an emf is induced the relative coils will change so this is here this is our way of the induct inducing imf the magnitude of the magnetic field can change with the time the area enclosed by the loop can change with the time the angle between the uh, magnetic field and the normal to the loop can change with the time any combinations of above can occur then the changing of that now see here the applications of the faraday is called gfci what is the gfci the ground fold circuit interrupter Uh, protect the user of the electric appliances against the electric shock what it is it is used to protect protect user of electric applications against the electric shock when the current is in the wire or in the opposite direction the flux is zero when the return current is in wire to the chain the flux is no longer is zero so the resulting induced emf can be used to the trigger a uh, circuit breaker server and uh, now applications of the parallel of pick up coil they are there the thing is that pick up coil so the pick up coil of an electric guitar use of faraday's law okay where it is used in the guitar electric guitar use of faraday the coil is placed near the vibrating string the what will happen the coil is placed near the vibrating string and cause a motion of string to because magnetize cause of motion of string to become a magnetize when the string vibrate at some frequency the magnetized segment produce a changing flux through the coil the induced emf is fed to an amplifier and now the motion of, of emf but we have understood in the next lecture see here this is our today's topic is that so if any kind of confusion in there in this lecture then comment in the comment box so thank you guys thank you so much